What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at the English League selection today. I'm going to go through this pretty quick, right? Because unless you're a newcomer, I feel like these cards are kind of like, they're kind of disappointing all across the board this week, man. The player of the weeks, um, you know, even the legends, I know they get a plus three booster. We'll cover that in another video or have a cover by now. But also, I think these ones, the selections for the leagues, I just feel that there should have been one top class player in here um, that would have been like, you know, enticing you to go. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? So we'll start with the guys that we're not going to focus on too much, which are going to be the goalkeeper. Again, a fairly okay goalkeeper, 20 levels, not great, has got low punt, but doesn't have long throw, so it's a bit of a miss for me. We also have Tresor here. This guy is pretty decent. He's got really nice player skills. He's got 28 levels to go, rapid, quick, really good balance, really good tight possession, really flying in with the meta where the game is at at the moment. Defensively, obviously, he's not going to have anything because he's not going to be playing as a left mid. He's going to be no track back or anything like that. He has games with him, hit by crossing. He has knuckle shots, soul control, double touch, and he also has a heel trick. You give him flip flap, he's going to be a demon on the wing. If you, um, if you want... And look, I do feel like these cards have a place for newcomers. You know, there's so many left wingers that are there. Really good pace. Doesn't have great passing or finishing. Um, so you kind of have to pick your poison, right? We already have Bowen. We covered this guy as well. Fairly okay Roman flank, but quite slow and uh, a bit kind of clunky. And then we also have Digne, right? This guy, I don't really feel is worth covering too much. He's an attacking full back, but he doesn't have great defense. He doesn't have great speed. He's got 31 levels, but... Listen, he is missing a couple of those key player skills that you need for average players, which is like one-touch pass. You don't really want putting work into a lot of these or investing a lot of time into these cards because it's easy to buy them from the GP market, right? So we will start with Veltman, right? So my favorite defensive right back in the game is actually um, over here. Let me just take my webcam off here. It's actually uh, wan -Bissaka, but Veltman is very similar to him, right? Similar kind of height, build, player ID, how he handles on the pitch. And of course, you're going to have that acceleration at 85. You're going to have stamina at 87 with the manager boost. And all of his defensive stats are going to be in the high 80s or the low 90s, which is, again, very, very nice. Tight possession, 78. Get the plus two boost to that and passing. And lofted pass. It's an average right back, right? It's an average right back. We also have Kovacic. Kovacic was one of my hidden gems from way back when in eFootball 22, before he actually went to City. He was a beast. And his acceleration and balance with tight possession are extraordinary for a center midfielder, right? So I would definitely be playing him as an attacking midfielder. Low pass, ball control, dribbling, all go to 90 when he has got that manager boost, which is really, really nice. And of course, we have Eze, who's down as a whole player as well. Excellent player skills, really silky on the pitch. And that speed, acceleration, balance, tight possession, dribble and ball control, all into the 90s with the manager boost. So I do think that they're good cards. The problem is, is that you probably, if you have been playing the game for longer than, you know, three months, you probably have cards that are equally as good, if not better than any of those, right? And especially with Eze, lads, right? He's got some nice player skills, flip-flap, soul control and double touch. So he'll be able to do kind of like the ball roll, the Neymar st style ball roll and the tricks and flicks. Um, he does have pinpoint, cr pinpoint crossing and acrobatic finish which I do like but yeah I mean these cards I kind of think they're a dime a dozen even though I do really like Eze I have multiple versions of him on both accounts that I have so it kind of does tie you a little bit whether you're going to spin for me I wouldn't be right we also have Sangare so this guy was one of the favorites as a destroyer one of the favorite players for people to use as a DMF um, as kind of like a budget option one touch pass man marking interception blocker sliding tackle aerial superiority and fighting spirit he also has unwavering form he's got an in-game face and of course his stats go off the charts when you train him up defensively so brilliant defensive stats speed and acceleration over 75 which is good and his physical contact goes to 90 his aggression goes to 91 with the manager boost very solid card um but if you already have somebody like this i mean he just doesn't compare it to like the Vieira, who i have in my squad so it's a no runner for me unfortunately for this card sorry sangara and then we also have Madison, Hoyland, Hoyland and uh, Kunate, right? So starting with Madison, lads, we'll show you the quick build that we have here for him. Fairly good player, right? Fairly good player. Good player skills. Is he worth spinning for? In my opinion, no. These are kind of like when we talk about the likes of Fermin Lopez, who's on the eFootball Point shop for free. Um, very similar card that you're going to be getting with Madison here, but you don't need to spin coins, obviously, for 
uh, Fermin Lopez. So yeah, it's a solid card. He's got some really nice player skills and I do think that he's good, but he's probably not going to get into many teams. Same can be said about Kanate. Even though Kanate is an absolute machine, he kind of surprised me with how good he is. He's down as a build-up. He doesn't have blocker, but you can give him that if you really want to. He's a very, very solid unit at the back. He's very tall, very strong. One of the, one, I was going to say one of the fattest players. One of the heaviest players by KG in the game. Um, with a weight of 95 kg in terms of his strength so he's going to be very hard to move off the ball and he just plow through players uh it, unless you have a target man up front like collar who will put him in his place but yeah he's a solid player man unwavering form as well and of course this is the build that we've gone for there 4 4 2 13 um that will give you a beast and he's got 76 speed with the acceleration or with the manager boost and 72 acceleration with 90 physical contact and for a unit this size lads to have that speed it is it is quite decent man so yeah not worth spinning for again though because there's so many good center backs there including the Freddy Jimenez who will do a similar job just doesn't have the height or strength and then last but not least we have Manchester United's Hoylund okay not really doing it in real life at the moment but he does get a card here it's an average card lads right and it pains me to say this as a United fan it's an average card but you can't really train him up that well especially because he's lacking a lot of player skills right so that's the build we've gone for nine into shoot nine into dexterity six into lower body and aerial strength it's an okay card but for me personally this is just way off what you need for a center forward up front especially with the free name are now in everybody's squad so yeah that is it for me lads i will be back again very very soon don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the reviews short and sweet to the point no flaff no mess and uh yeah we'll try and get a couple of more of these up so i will talk to you guys later peace